Hey, hey guys, I hope y'all are having a wonderful, wonderful day today. I know we're not in our normal setup, but uh, I have been quarantined so that my actual man cave turned into my office. So I am now in our other guest room that my wife, so it's her craft room that she so uh, generously is letting me do my YouTube in here. So uh, I hope everybody's families are, are safe and healthy and I hope everybody is taking care of themselves. Uh, we've been away for a little bit, but um, we're going to do a recap of our live stream this morning. Uh, we went into Acts 6.2.5. We did four lanes. Uh, it was a pretty fun time. For those of you who don't want to go watch the entire live stream, we are going to do a summary of the four paths we took so that I can better help you in your journey of MCOC. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, once again, guys, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a, dis uh, <laughs> leave a description. Uh, my Discord and Line ID and my Twitter will be down in the description below. We will get those fired back up pretty quick. Um, other than that, guys, let's hop in. Let's talk about it. So the team I pretty much used for 6.2.5 on these four lanes was Namor, Wasp, Ghost, Hood, and Ghost. As most of you know, I love Ghost. I'm a Ghost player. Uh, the four paths we took were Path A, Path B, Path D, and Path F. So let's start with Path A. Um, there are a couple fights on this path that will really give you a lot of problems if you don't have the right characters. Um, one being Mephisto, two being Electro. Now, um, for both of these, I used Namor. And I'll kind of explain why I use Namor. Um, for Mephisto, he really does proc that aura of incineration at time. We either had two or three charges of aura of incineration within the first five hits. It was kind of crazy. So you have to play very intelligently when you're playing Mephisto. Also, he has Heart Locker. He can't throw the same special twice. Um, Electro is a little bit different. Uh, so he's going to regen 1%, which is actually quite a bit of health. Um, I don't know if those of you who have done um, variant number four, you'll remember the Rogue. Uh, not quite as bad as that, but still does some good regeneration. Um, and then you're inflicted with poison. So to me, there was only one true option. I, there are other options. Quake can get this done. You have 60 seconds with Quake or less, but Quake can get this done as well because you you are going to take that damage back when you hit into him. But I use Namor. If you have a high sig duped Namor, and that's a big if for a lot of people I understand, um, you should be able to get past this with minimal resources used. Uh, I used one revive on this path, and it's actually because I died uh, to Joe fix it. Um... Also, 6.2.5, as most of you know, has Do Not Go Gentle, which means every time you do a five-hit combo, you get a charge, and you have to remove those charges by get, doing a heavy attack or intercepting the opponent. If you don't, by the end of the fight, you're going to take all those charges, and it's going to be converted to damage on you and will most likely kill your character. So, moving on to Path B. Path B was another difficult path, mainly because of the three people in front of me. Magneto, uh, not too bad of a champ, but he does have some regeneration. And when you want him to throw that special one and he just won't, uh, it kind of gets annoying. But also, Ghost does not do good against Magneto. So anytime I see Magneto, you know, uh, the panic sets in. <laughs> so I used Wasp for this one and uh, was able to take him down fairly easily. Uh, next is Ant-Man. This Ant-Man is stupid. He has Micro Reflect. So whenever he glances your attack, which is for you know a SIG 200 six-star Ant-Man, which is every freaking hit, you take damage. Um, so once again, Namor, Quake. Uh, he also has a 200% increased power gain. So be careful if you're using Quake uh, because, you know, well, I like to stun... Heavy, stun, heavy, stun, heavy. And then once, you know, my... Once all those stuns stack up or, you know, the heavy stack up or whatever you want to call it, I normally throw the heavy at the very end. It's going to give him like three quarters bar of power. Uh, so you can't do that too many times. So your best deal is to just stick to stun, parry. Um, 
Moving on next to Korg. Korg is Korg. Um, I used Ghost for this Korg because with Ghost I have learned how to phase, light attack after he hits me, and then light, 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 light uh, to get down his rock shield. Okay, so moving back on, nothing else really too tricky in that path, in my opinion. The Scarlet Witch is a little iffy with Ghost. Uh, just make sure you don't get an armor break on you. Moving on to Path D, uh, we have Drax, which I believe that's an all or nothing Drax. Yeah, with Ghost, with the Hood Synergy, not a problem. Because um, you can eat special threes. Other than that... The Doctor Strange is the other hard one, but once again, if you have Ghost with a uh, with the Hood Synergy, you take no damage from specials while you are phasing. Uh, so, but that is a 200% power gain. I believe there was another one in Variant Three, maybe it was Variant Three. It was just like it. Uh, so be careful there. And then moving on to the final path. Let's do Path F. So we had King Group, Cap, Spidey, Hood, Iron Patriot, Rhino, A-Bomb, and Sentinel. Uh, the only one that gave me problems with, with Ghost was uh, Iron Patriot, and that's mainly because he had a pretty explosive power gain at 200%. And then Rhino, I don't use Ghost. I would either use, you know, um, Wasp or someone like that because... Uh, I, I, the timing can be messed up when you phase with Rhino. Uh, so, moving on to the boss, we were able to solo this boss twice. Next, uh, we had to use one revive one time, two revives on the other one. I will blame my weenie dog. You should go check that out. The weenie dog literally jumps in my lap while I'm in my fight with Mordo. Uh, Yoshi was awful for doing that, but we still love him. So, this Mordo. Strength in numbers. So you have to... KT1 describes this as the toll. The toll chapter. you got to pay the toll. All your characters have to be revived. Um, because if not, the ability, attack and ability accuracy reduction is staggering. Ghost won't phase. Wasp won't stun in combo. Um, you know, I can keep going on and on and on. So, the next thing I have is Spike. So, one thing you know with Ghost, once you throw the special two, uh, you are going to get a buff, and it's going to cause Spike to trigger. So, not much fun there. And then, you also have the Do Not Gentle to worry about. <clears throat> also, uh, he has Hurt Locker. For some of this, you can't throw the same special twice in a row. Uh, and then... One of the other ones is Special Delivery. So Special Delivery means you get 15 hits before you have to throw a Special. So when Special Delivery and Hurt Locker are both on, man, it's a problem. Uh, Quake can get this done. Quake can get this done. Ghost with the uh, Hood and Wasp Synergy can get this done. And uh, Wasp actually herself can get this done. So you have several options for this this champ, but it's it's the toll road. You gotta pay the toll. Um, this is the for those of you who watched It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. This is the toll troll, troll toll or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, guys, that pretty much sums up that. So just to kind of recap the recap, uh, Namor, Quake, and then. Ghost, Hood, Wasp. Um, I ran double Ghost. I don't run much Quake. Uh, I, I have taken down the Mordo Champion with Quake. Uh, I did it in two tries. So, other than that, uh, we're going to hit up the next three paths, our final three paths tomorrow. We'll do a summary then. And then I'll do a summary of the first uh, three paths we did uh, back a long time ago. Um, so, Guys, let me know if you like these summary videos. Uh, they're kind of interesting. If I'm leaving something out or if I need to add something in, please let me know. Once again, I am so happy to be back and doing YouTube. And, and guys, just thank you so much for all your uh, your support, your good wishes. And uh, yeah, I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful and blessed day. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Peace.